Hello, in a previous video I showed you how to upload an object file in the Fusion 360. In this video I'm going to address the first issue that you might come across when uploading and converting the object file into a T-spline. Um, to convert a, a mesh into a T-spline, you go into here, right click, and go into convert, and hit collect. Um, continue and this is the message you can get. Um, basically this message is warning you that there are too many triangles or quads in the model. Uh, Fusion 360 likes squares and not triangles or quads. Uh, so the first thing I do to try to reduce the number of triangles and quads in a model is to uh, split the model in half and then weld the two halves together. Um, this example I'm using is the Blood Dragon um, helmet from Mass Effect. I downloaded this uh, model from Jason on Thingiverse. I'll have a link to this model and uh, other models you can download from Jason um, below the video. So to split this model in half, um, I typically use Blender. Blender is a free software that you can download. Um, I'll have the download link on the bottom of this video. So this is what this this is when you load up Blender. This is the screen you get. So you just click this away, and I usually delete these. To delete these, I push A for all, and I press it twice, and then delete, and then delete. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is up um, import um, the Blood Dragon Armor Helmet file object file into Blender. So I go to File, Import, um, Wave Front Object. And then I will select the helmet. And then I'll click on import. All right, so I'm going to scroll out to get this view better. And then rotate it by holding the middle scroll button. And then I will um, move it a little bit with these. Uh, I can move these a little bit with these arrows. They move along the axes. So I'm, I'm not too concerned about position since I'm just going to I'm just going to cut this in half. All right. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is click on this, and then I'm going to want to change this to right here. Change this to edit mode, and then I'm going to want to click on the model, and then I want I'm going to want to select the um, one half of the model and delete the vertices. So typically the key stroke I use to do that is B, I guess for box. And then this will come up, and then I hold the left mouse button, and I drag over the vertices I want to delete, and I just delete vertices. And then I'll do the same thing for the back. Uh, B for box. Right click and drag and delete vertices. All right, now I'm just going to clean up um, manually without the box. So what I usually do is I just click on one of these vertices, hold control, and then I will click on another spot and it will take the shortest distance. And, and then you just hit the shortest distance from point to point that you click. And then hit delete and delete vertices. And I will keep on doing that until I delete all the um, planes and vertices on this side. So control. Delete vertices. Okay. Delete vertices. All right, I'm just going to box these in here since they should be easier to get. And delete vertices. And I guess one more time here. And delete vertices. Okay, now I want to get rid of these. So you're not going to want to click on these ones because that will delete this plane. So we're just going to click over here and hit Control and click over here and here and then delete. And that's good. And I'm going to click here and I'm going to click all the way down to here because, like I just said, I don't want to click on that one. And I'm going to um, click on this one here and then I'm going to go up down here. Okay, so I hope I'll get that all here. Delete vertices, and there we go. So now, um, as you can see, we have, oh, we have one more spot here. Okay, it 
looks clean there. I think that's good. So now that you see that we have half the model, that's exactly what we want. So now we're going to go to File, Export, and we're going to want to export the wave front object. And just, just put it wherever you want it. And let's name it um, Blood Dragon Helmet Half. And then I'm going to go over here and do it export and there you go so then you bring then you're going to want to upload the model into fusion I already did that um, if you want to see how to do that just look at my previous video so now you see here we have the half of the object file um, it's still a mesh so we're going to want to convert that into a t-spine so you go over here convert um, and should convert it now that we reduce the number of triangles and quads and there you go there's the model so now what you're going to want to do is uh, mirror this and then weld the two halves together so I'm going to go up here to symmetry I'm going to go to mirror duplicate and then I click on the model and then I click on the um, origin plane um, if you don't have the origin plane it could be just um, invisible so you just click on the little light bulb and then I click on that plane and there you go. But you can see that um, I didn't have it exactly um, lined up. That's fine. Um, so what you can do is um, just weld this, the pieces together, which I will do right here. So um, you just go into modify, and then you go into weld vertices, and all you do is just click on these vertices like that, like that, like that, and like that. And typically, I would just go through, of course, all these and um, weld the two halves together. Um, uh, as you can see, this green line here um, it shows you that the, these these two halves are sy uh, symmetrical to each other. Um, so you can see here, if you go into modify and here and just move it, you can see both sides will move. So basically, I would do, like I said, is just weld this all together, and then you you have the um, T spine that you could edit. Um, in the next, the next video, I'll show you another way to reduce the amount of triangles and quads in a model.